Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dragon Age Origins. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today as we continue collecting a lot of Codex things on Aeonar. Hmm, when the Imperium occupied the area that is present-day Ferelden, they had two sites dedicated to magical experimentation at the extreme ends of the Imperial Highway. And then at the end, the site was left unintentionally, or structurally sound, but spiritually damaged. Such is the nature of magic. I think. I'm off. And an account on the Kunari. Oh, that's the, the Sven thingy. Anyone who travels far enough to the north will eventually encounter the Kunari. White-haired, bronze-skinned giants. A head, again, taller than a man. With frighteningly calm demeanors and a sort of sparkling fire behind their eyes. For quite a long time, people believed that all Kunari were male, or that their men and women were simply indistinguishable... It was not until the Blessed Age that diplomats from Rivain were allowed, however briefly, to visit Parvolen, and there they discovered that Kunari females do not, uh, female Kunari, probably, uh, do not exist in abundance and are quite easily recognized. The Rivaini say that Kunari have a certain kindness to them. Okay, what? Do, I mean, they are Kunari. Anyway, or at least a co certain kindness, mm, a, a, a cons conspicuous lack of cruelty. Although I did not observe the creatures closely enough to evaluate their character. Okay, well that, there it is. We don't know what happens to the women Kunari. Maybe Sven can will will Sven will uh, will be able to tell. Me. Is it Sven? I don't remember his name. And this is the history of the Chantry, Chapter Four. I think we are getting whole wholesale chapters. They're just sort of really big. The crowds present at the death of Andastra, Andraste were right to feel despair. In these dark times, mankind scrambled. Andraste's followers, however, did not abandon her teachings when she died. We have learned this before. With the time, the cult of Andraste spread and grew. There were many converts, such as the way. The modern chantry is a thing of faith and, a thing of faith, hmm, and beauty, but it is also a house of necessity, protecting Thetis from powerful forces that would do it harm. Where the Grey Wardens protect the world from the Blights, the chantry protects mankind from itself because of the magic, as far as... I know I could have read that, but we, I mean, pacing. Pacing is a thing. I didn't talk to you yet, did I? Geography of Thethas. Oh, that's where, what Thethas means. Uh, Thethas is bounded to, bounded? Sure. To the east by the uh, Maranthine Ocean, and to the west by Tirashan Forest. By Tirashan Forest. And the uh, Hunter Horn Mountains. To the south by many other names. Uh, things. There must be other lands, continents, or islands, perhaps across the Amaranthine, or north of uh, Parvolen, for the Kunari arrived in Thedas from somewhere, but beyond that deduction, we know nothing. They could have also just materialized. That That's, I mean, it, it, it's, it's a magical world. Welcome to the wonders of Thedas. We carry items crafted by the Circle, as well as a variety of antiquities. Is there anything you would like to see? Sure. Uh, namely, oh, for a spirit, spirit, spirit healer. Actually, I might want that for for uh, Morrigan. Ancient map of in the Imperium. Well, I will definitely want that. I probably should be paying more attention to that because that's a gift. I have plenty of money, so I kind of want that. But the problem is that doesn't go for me. Does it go for her? Does it work? I don't actually know. Oh, there's re recipes in here as well. Uh, greater Ice, Spotum, Lyrium, uh, Greater Warmth Balm, uh, Greater Lyrium Potion, Salt. Wait. Dang it. You don't have actually healing potions. Tome of Arcane Technique. That's kind of awesome. Am I missing these? I'm missing these, ain't I? Because I never, I don't remember seeing these. These are just for extra points. About it, yeah. There's nothing here. So I might want that. Uh, but I will want to save before that happens. Don't wave at me. Welcome to the wonders of Theda. Thank you. You're very kind. 
So there it is. Specialization unlocked. Your wish? Oh, but I can't tell that. She Oh. I can I can do that. Just like that. I did I mean I hmm? It's unlocked forever now. I didn't know I could do that. Just level up some things. Yeah, it's unlocked forever. What does that actually do? Plus magic, minor combat, health regen. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, let's just go with that. Ah, hmm. So, that does mean that I don't need to choose to become a bard. Because I do want an assassin. That said, willpower and cunning. And I have another point. So, yeah, I might as well. Although... Probably want Ranger and Assassin if I can. I don't actually know how to unlock those. Uh, so, just wait, I suppose, a little bit. Combat Tactics, uh, Improved Poison Making. Probably want that. I mean, eh. Survival. That's nice as well. Let's go with Poison, though. So we have at least something. Feign Death. I don't need that. Deadly Strike. What did we actually get from our Bard? Specialization. It doesn't give us abilities. Maybe these are. That's because these are not abilities. That's that's the reason. Yes. Uh, so we have deadly strike. Uh, makes a swift strike at a vulnerable vulnerable target, a vulnerable area on the target, dealing normal damage but getting a bonus to armor penetration, which is nice. And we got stealth. Uh, and that's part. That's a different thing altogether. That's. I hope we're doing that right. Uh, and then we have some things over here. Cripple, the character strikes low at a target, gaining a momentary attack bonus and hitting critically if the attack connects, while crippling the target with penalties to movement speed, attack, and defense unless it passes a physical resistance check. That's actually quite good, and that requires dexterity. Did I mess up? Yeah, I'm going up on dexterity, but I didn't do the the one that I need. What's that one? Dual weapon mastery. Mm. I guess that's, uh, that's that, really. Oh! It doesn't, that's interesting. Dual weapon mastery. Although I would have enjoyed having the uh, the other thing. So basically, I can always go and... Yeah, that's kind of cool. Right. Can you... Yeah, you don't have... Which might mean that other people have that. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. I... Oof. So the specializations... Oh, yeah. It applies to everybody. The books, anyway. That is... All right. That's a weird thing. Anyway, we have a mysterious door. We can't do it? Anything? The door opens a crack in response to your knock. There is a light breeze, like a change in pressure. You mean in air pressure. And no, that's not... That's not... Nobody says that. It's just... <laughs> it's like, that's such a tropey thing. To have, as you see it so often in adventure games, and it's not a realistic thing. Yes, there will be a light breeze, because you open a freaking door. Have you ever opened a freaking door in your house? That's what happens. There's a breeze. And it, 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 you have a, you, like, you probably even have a specific word for it that it's not breeze. It's just, like, a, I don't know, an air current or something. That would be more in akin to what the Portuguese term for it would be. Um, and you don't want to catch it if you're, if you're sweaty. Because that's what your grandma told you. Anyway, uh, I am looking for Red Jenny. The door closes curtly. I'm going to save. That's what I'm going to do. Oi. I'm going to present the small painted box. A large shadow nods. A pouch of coins appears in exchange. The door closes. You deliver the small painted box to the... Fr this is Friends of Jenny. Of Red Jenny. So what I want to make sure of is that... We're not... I Yeah, I want to make sure. Friends of Red Jenny. You have acquired the small painted box as requested by the Friends of Red Jenny. The reward, whatever it is, is waiting off the district market in Denerim. That sounds good. We can do that. That's the beauty of having a character who's not overly concerned with moral implications. <laughs> Only when immediately confronted with them. Either through, uh, I suppose, emotional strife. Because that's a very easy one. And, uh, or, but just by people going, hey, you shouldn't do this. And he would be like, 
Oh, that, that makes sense. But if nobody ever calls him out on that, especially... Well... He does get called... He, mm, his companions have some certain influence on him. I, I'm, uh... All of a sudden, I was getting... Um, I was getting confused about the Pathfinder Kingmaker, which is another game that I'm playing at the same time. And the companions in that game are all idiots. Unlike the ones in this game. Well, I say all are all idiots. The ones that I have are all idiots. There might be other companions that are cool. So, I don't know. The ones that I have in that game, I mean. So, I was just getting a little bit confused. Also, didn't we get, weren't we supposed to get the thing from the warehouse? We, had a, we have a steel thing. A steel job. Dwarven crafts. Oh, it's the uh, crafts. Direct from Orzammar. Solid Snake sounding person. That voice actor does so much work. It's not Solid Snake though. It's a different. different ah, character. here you are again. What voice can actor. I do for you? Nothing. All right. Uh, so I think we did have. Uh, no, 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 no. We did not. There's exclamation marks everywhere. I am now paying attention to them. I think I need to talk to them too. Warden. Rumors are flying about the break-in at the Nord Noble Tavern, and for some odd reason, no one feels too sorry for that milk cow, Lady Sophie. <laughs> you interested in more? Uh, do you know any good places to break in? I have a big opportunity you for you. Ask me Four sovereigns. Oh, you ask me now? Okay. Arl Howe uses a warehouse in the Market District from time to time. Word is, the Arl's been dipping into the city's treasury and discreetly moving silver bars to his estate in High Ever. There's a fortune in that warehouse right now, and if you succeed here, Arl Howe gets a big black eye. But guards will be everywhere. Not those half-assed dock guardsmen either. Generally, I'm opposed to killing, but these are the Arl's hand-picked hatchet men, and stealth's not really an option. So, good luck. I'm rooting for you. Just like that, huh? Art hours still in silver bars. We're right in the marketplace. I was just there! I was just there, I just said! I stole everything, for one. But... <laughs> so... <laughs> jarring. Immediately jarring. But, um... More to the point, I... I the, the... I mean, I think it's this one. Crime wave. What? What do you mean, Crive Wave? Is that the name of the quest? That is the name of the quest. <laughs> What's the name of this establishment that you have over here, sir? Oh, but it establishes <laughs> it's Crime Wave and people shouting at you. Oh, they're thugs. Ah, that's perfectly acceptable to kill them then. Um, well, I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you uh, sort of, oh my God, they're everywhere. Okay, so let's wait a little bit. Uh, also, I need to change things around. Because we got new spells, and I don't like the way they're distributed right now. What's that? The shock? Sure. Is that the one that takes a bunch? Yeah. That is. Put that over there. Okay. So one thing I like to do is this. So I'm going to need to move her a little bit over this way. Everybody's around me, and I can do that. So be it. And everybody gets stunned, because the next thing to do... I hope you guys got stunned. I don't think you did. <gasps> oh, freaking hell. Stop it. What happened? This guy is the wor- Oh, everybody got stunned. Is that normal? Well, you're just getting yourself deeper in- Digging yourself into- uh, Digging your hole- You're digging your hole deeper and deeper. That's what I mean to say. Okay, not that. Okay, that sucks. But we have three of them that we're gonna kill. So, we're gonna wait for that. Okay, that guy got. Okay, and then you do that. You do do that over here. And you actually you need to go over there. No. I can I can rotate a little bit. This is the leader. Oh no. Uh, I'm going to need to stun him. The stun works. Let's go up on this guy over here. There's shattering going on already. So that's already pretty good. Uh, yeah. Some things going on. That's good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and freeze you. Uh, she got stunned again, of course. I, I don't know what that how that is happening. Oh, that shattered. Okay. That was a nice critical. Uh, okay, you're gonna need a party heal, please. 
Let's see what I can do to you. With a below the belt. I hope it works. Uh, that is going to be quite something here. Okay, he's taking a little bit of a beating. That's not too bad. Let's see. We can try and freeze him, which rarely works. But now I can try this one, which I haven't done that before. Okay. Let's just go with that. Oh, dang it. Does he have a ward or something? Okay. Yeah, I need to heal you. But unfortunately, I have no such... Oh, you're dead. Okay, whatever. Um, revival? Sure. Yeah, he's back, baby. Okay, so get the health poultice. Just do that. Uh, and go up on the against that guy. Okay, you have other things that you can do as well. Namely, the overpower. Okay, that stunned him. Did it stun him? It's the second round that stuns, I think. Okay, that's going relatively well. You, however, are taking a lot of damage, and I don't like it. Uh, so this is all pretty bad. I don't like it either. Let's try this. Let's try this. I swear. Okay, the leader is gone. Baylor, go ahead and mess with that guy over there. I don't like him. Uh, and you can st can hang on with this. Okay. This is actually... Not too bad. Okay. And I can try and murder you too, because you're the worst. Okay, and then I can do this to you. And I can do that to you. Now she might die. She just did. That's what you get for not petrifying him. I guess it was Morrigan who didn't. Oh, she's back. Vessel of Spirit. That's nice of you. Uh, speaking of petrify, oh, you're too tired. Okay. We got it. My God. We pull through. Oh, he's a. Don't you dare kill him. Wow. Also, stop with the noise. Thank you. Nasty. Really nasty. Health poultices, though. I very much appreciate them. Greater ones as well. So there it is. No consequences for my I'm off. treacherous... Not necessarily treacherous, I guess. Illegal actions so far. Apart from the consequences of those. I won't take the blame for this one. This was bad from the start. No way he was here to deal. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Also, that's the that other guy that we found. I won't take the blame for Oh, he just one. says that. Thanks. I ain't sticking around to see how this turns. So what exactly did I get? I, I can't tell. It's like... <laughs> I have no idea what's going on with, with some of these item pickups. But it's fine. We can take a sil... Oh, the silver bars. That's right. Take them all. How expensive are they? I can't tell. Well, that's that. And he, I'm not sticking around, he says, as he slowly... Proceeds to walk out the room. Slowly walking out the room, I mean. Okay. So we can now go back to our friend, who isn't really our friend, because all he likes is just to send us to our death after we've given him Dwarven money. Crafts. Fine. Because Dwarven that's what he crafts. likes. Money. Wynn doesn't like money. Wynn is, ah, oh, I don't like the sound of that. Hey, you don't have a quest anymore? Warden. They're turning the market upside down to find the burglar who bested all hell. But no one's the wiser. I'm going to work hard to find something worthy of your talent. You need anything else? He's pulling my leg. They're not doing that. He's just saying that to just sort of talk me up. Do you know any good places to break in? I'm following up a lead in the palace district. I know you can't get in now, but you never know. If it all works out, it'll make you a legend. I didn't know I couldn't get in now. Good to see you, Warden. Fight in the good fight, eh? I'm following. Yeah, so that's that dialogue right there. Okay. Well, I didn't even know there was a palace district to begin with. Hey, Sara. Hi. Yes. So. I'm sorry to tell you, your husband is dead. What? This is terrible. Hmm. 
My beloved. I... That's that? No. Hmm. I'll invoke the... Invoke the saves coming here. Always save. Always save before talking to people that just... Yeah. So instead of telling her that, we just need to give her a letter. Yes. And complete our quest. All right. Let me take a look. I feared this day would come. Off she goes. Huh. Well, there it is. Maybe it's not a quest update style thing. So where does that one go? I think it goes outside. CD map. It just says CD map, which is sort of weird. Yeah, let's go to the Alliance Age. Oh, yeah, we need to talk to these two, I think. Magic exists to serve the one who repents, who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world and roasts not nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I liked her version of the chant better. <laughs> Me too. I wonder why nobody ever taught me her version of the chant when I was a Templar. Oh. I bet they did. Hello, dear. Can we help you? Um, what she means is, in Andraste's name, be welcome. Stop correcting me! What would Andraste do? That's what you should be concerned with, I say. Andraste was no fuss budget. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, what are you doing? Praying for the good people of Denerim who've lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said. Can you tell me about the chant? Tell you about the chant? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? What was that verse you were reciting just now? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. He sang it well, I take it? He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. What happened to him? It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that sentence just has more connotations to me than it probably has in the, in the text. I don't know. Maybe it, does, maybe it is supposed to evoke... I, I just find that inher inherently funny. We don't speak of that. <laughs> he died? He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the chant one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. That's, it's, well, it's a pretty cool way to go, though, as things, uh, what, what does the chant say about Darkspawn? Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin, pride, 
arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinta, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the Golden City, heart of all creation, to take the Maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the chant of light, not the speech of light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? See how you like being interrupted. Well, you get the general idea, I'm sure. Uh, so does the chant mention elves? Yes and no, dear. The official version of the chant does not speak of the elves. Some of the dissonant verses, however, do mention the disciple Shartan. I like... I don't... I, I don't like that they're... I think dissonant verses here are supposed to be the apocryphal verses. Apocryphal does is not necessarily connected, or the word itself is not necessarily connected to Christianism, um... So they could have used this without being out, outright, out, without outright copying their inspiration, uh, because apocryphal is just a normal word that you can use anyway. This nant here is more thematically in line with what the chantry is, though, because it makes more sense. Although, it, from a musical standpoint, it makes me think that they're like being, Oh, and the people who fought against the dark spawn were so badasses, and somebody is going back there, and the elves were there too as well, and it's kind of cool, and that, and singing all out of tone and I suppose not rhythm and all that sort of stuff because that's what they are this is the dissonant verses they just wrote them in the sidelines and somebody else is saying that in the background like a a rap song or something I, I I don't know so what are the dissonant verses the chant has changed over time some of the verses that were sung in the past were taken out that's the canticles of Shartan was stricken from the chant in the glory age they are no longer sung though scholars still sometimes read them yeah it's uh it's it's the apocryphal things. Who are Shartan, or was he was an elven disciple of the prophet, a former slave like Andraste herself. He rallied his people against the Imperium. He was given to the flames alongside Our Lady. Why aren't these verses an official part of the chant? Divine Renata had the verses removed during the exalted march on the Dales. Right. There's more than one version of the chant, then. Of course. The official chant of light is written in Tevinta, but it is translated into the languages of the believers. Some ideas are lost in the process of translation, and words take on unintended meanings. There's a dreadful pun in the Orlesian version in the Canticle of Threnodes, and languages are always changing. The chant must adapt if it is to be understood by the people hearing it. That's why it's called canonical and not official, because official comes from office, and canon canonical comes from canon. Canon, canon, yeah, and uh, it has to do with power and the way and the people who do tell other people what the correct version is, the canonical version is anyway. Um, and it's interesting that they mentioned the pun. Puns were super, super used in in uh, ancient writing, uh, and the, Magic since we're talking about what the chantry is based on and all, all that, the Bible has a bunch of puns. Um, originally, anyway, and these days it's, just, it's translated, so a lot of it is lost. But the original texts, um, some of the uh, the rewritten texts as well, uh, have a lot, a lot of puns, and that was just something that ancient writers loved to use because it was it was considered highbrow and oh, I do declare with my pun that is very good, so I must be right, and that's that's why they used it. So it's a whole history of puns, but. That's going to be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dragon Age Origins. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.